Hello, beautiful people. Losing Drea here. Today is Thursday. It is March 9, 2017. It is day 61 of being on keto. And I feel fan freaking tastic. Just coming on here to kind of give you guys a little bit of a heads up. I've been uploading a lot of different videos off of my current computer because I have a Mac and I'm going to try to transfer over, but I need to clean a lot of stuff out and get it done and off of the one computer. It's kind of like, you know, unfinished business. If I don't finish it up, I'll never, like, leave it. You know what I mean? Because I'm always in front of that computer that I never go to the other and end up learning what I need to learn about it so that I can continually use it, which was the original plan in the first place when I got the sucker. So, um... I have a series of some videos that are really, really, really what I call the lost video files or the lost videos, and there's at least five or six of them that I've already uploaded, but that they're private. I have not made them public yet for viewing purposes, and one particular video that I found in playing with stuff, basically, on YouTube, that I found a video that I did for my five-year anniversary. You guys have already probably seen that video so far. If you not, look down in the playlist there for my weight loss uh, journey and or somewhere in the last several videos that I've uploaded recently you'll see it because I just recently public uh, made it public so you guys can see it I didn't even know that I did not publicize it like no wonder I didn't get any views any comments nothing and you know I got so busy and I was so inundated with doing video after video after video in October that when this particular video was put out um I, I don't know. I don't know what I, I didn't, I didn't make it public. And sometimes if I put a video out through my phone, I will put it on private so that I can check it, make sure all the keywords and the description and everything that needs to be in there is in there before I publicize it so that you can view it, um, AKA share it with everybody. In any case, um, so yeah, today, I don't know. I had my, uh, Bulletproof coffee. I finished it. I also have one here for hubby. He's been drinking Bulletproof coffee, but he's also still eating candy and other garbage and stuff, so I can't really speak for him, his gut health, his mind health. Plus, he ate a bowl of cereal this morning. I think it was like Captain Crunch blueberry pancakes. Some, I don't know, limited edition thing. And he's raving about it. Oh, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's, you know, the addiction to sugar and carbs, and that pretty much sums it up, not to mention the grain. I can't be eating that stuff. I have no desire to eat that stuff. And yes, that stuff is in my house and I have not eaten any of it. In 61 days today, I've been feeling good, doing great. I'm still down 247 today, which is where I was at yesterday and the day before. Well, I think the day before I was 247.6. So I don't know, like every day, every other day, I have a little bit of a loss. So I'm happy with that. As long as I don't keep bouncing up and down in the 250s where I was before for quite a while, Gosh, it seems like that was never going to stop. Um, but I ate something different last night, and I'm going to actually put it out there in the ozone to all you people. I am never again eating cauliflower. I cannot, my body cannot tolerate cauliflower. Not to give you guys too, TMI, but all night I was very uncomfortable, and I felt like I was going to implode. I had a lot of um, gas put it that way inside of me and it needed to come out but I guess it didn't really know what to do because I haven't really had a lot of gas I don't have a lot of gas I don't have a lot of swelling or inflammation in my body my mouth teeth pain anything that I ever used to experience pre-keto don't have it anymore um, vision issues are a lot better than they used to be I'm a lot less dizzy or blurry and uh, definitely brain wise a lot less blurry you know I don't have that foggy brain and and I think my hormones are starting to balance out as well because I, I, I still have this little cranky thing. But, you know, I live with people who are assholes, okay? I'm going to say it as plain as I possibly can. And I know it's my mother and my husband. I'm supposed to love them so very much. But, you know, there are, there are some families who are supportive and will back you up and say that they're supportive. And there's some that are just say they're supportive, but they don't back you up and they do everything in their power that is just the opposite of what you're doing and they'll try to throw a wrench in your program. You know, last night in the middle of the night, just to give you an example, I'm in the middle of editing videos and trying to get some work done in between and I'm juggling both things very simply now, which was not something I could do pre-keto. But I'm sitting there and my mom's like, psst, psst, 
you know, my door's closed. She comes to the hallway. Now, mind you, my office is on one side. My Then I have a bathroom and then my bedroom, which my husband was maybe at least trying to relax. I don't know if he was trying to sleep. He went to bed about as late as I did, which was one something in the morning. But in any case, she's like, psst, psst, I need to talk to you. It's very, very important. This is important. It can't wait. And she has a piece of paper, one of those, uh, you know, lined, ruled papers, you know, like with the holes in it whatever you call those, loose leaf, whatever that we get when we're in school. And on it, she has a bunch of crap written on it, and I didn't even bother looking at it, but she starts to tell me about some biblical thing. First words out of her mouth was, it's about, like, the diet that I'm doing. So she's trying to imply that it has to do with keto, but then she says something about it, something in the Bible, which I don't doubt, you know, the Bible does uh, make reference to, you know, eating the fat of the land and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> But then she goes on to say about something about $47 in these books, and it lines it out for you. And you know what? I said, look, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Everything that my mom ever wants to do has to involve a cost of some sort. She wants Garcinia Cambogia pills. She wants some other kind of quick weight loss pills. She wants some books. She wants some tapes. She wants some e-books. She wants some videos. She wants anything that anybody out there is selling to lose some weight. And the bottom line is... Figure out what it is that your body needs to sustain energy on and go with it and stick to it. The woman had weight loss surgery, for God's sakes, 14, 15 years ago. I don't remember how many years ago. I think it was 14, 15 years ago. But in any case, like 2007, 8, 6, 4, I don't know. You know what, guys? I'm over it. It, it, it infuriates me to no end that the woman sees me doing something at one point even acted as interested as to try to do what I do okay wasted my time wasted my energy wasted me talking wasted me doing research for her because you know I tell her things I show her things I feed her things and she still wants to put money that she don't have into somebody else's pocket for something that probably, if it is anything like what I know, it's free information that's out there on the internet. And she's on the internet constantly. But you know what she does, guys? She plays games on Pogo. Sitting there, clicking, popping balloons, and God knows what else she does. Chatting with people who are not going to benefit her in her life whatsoever. And I'm guilty of doing that in the past myself. You know, I have a website called Pogonuts.com. It's been around for years. I think since like 1999 or 2000. And I, and I paid to keep it there, but I don't really do anything with it. And it was because I was a pogo nut. I used to play games on pogo to, for tokens that you couldn't do anything with. That you, to this day, you still can't do anything with. I don't know anybody, anybody, because I know quite a few friends to this day that I still have that I met through pogo that still play pogo, even though I grew up and grew away from it. And they've never hit a jackpot or won anything, got a t-shirt or a hat or something for their thanks for all the millions of clicks that they do because every time they click on something even if they're a free user Pogo makes money on you guys same with Facebook and all their games you know Zanga and all those companies that make those games why don't you do some research about how much money those companies make on advertising marketing dollars it doesn't matter that you play for free every time you click in and on, in something and out of something or something and it, and it loads and it you know you got to go here you got to go there you send something to a friend, page reloads, you're being shown more ads, they're getting paid more money. Anyway, I have these coming right now. So yeah, just be on the lookout for those lost videos that I have. Um, most definitely, I want you guys, I want you guys to uh, just know they're old videos. You don't have to look at them, but if you're interested in what happened in the past and compare it to what's going on in the future, because even me... God, he just put something really heavy in my trunk. Even compared to me, when I'm editing these things and I'm seeing what they are, uh, seeing how I was in those videos is so much of a, an amazement to me to see where I was and where I am now today. You know, things that I would say about, oh, I wouldn't eat bacon, and I was eating vegan stuff like gardenia, not real meat stuff, and I was contemplating going vegan. And now I'm like full-fledged carnivorous eating meats and bacon and lots more chicken and fish and stuff so in any ways um like i said with that said be happy be healthy be beautiful but just be you be the boss of your loss if you're on a weight loss journey and i will definitely be seeing you guys in my next video bye guys be blessed